Hi, I'm Merrick Demanda. Welcome back to Let's Play Wards and Warriors Joan of Arc. I found the uh, town we missed before. Joan of Arc's gonna take it. Let's get the treasure that lies within. There's no way to get the, uh, the cross here yet, sadly. Heavy infantry. Heavy infantry and a view arch. I really need. my allies to deal with most of it. And as soon as you get what it take this place and get whatever you can find inside it, we're just going to jump back to uh, the rest of the group and auto move Joan where she needs to be. Flam, the Golden Flame Sword. Specifically commissioned for this war, it's made of virtually unbreakable metal. Only Zelda Mets may use, and we have everyone's best weapons. Holy Flam means Golden Flame, by the way. Good, so we can move on the way to, um, to Rames without any real issue. Then give uh, John the Mets a sword. Follow me, I don't care. 
but the archers are going to be a problem. Ideally, I want a big tail of uh, the melee forces. I can take them all out at once. French scum shall never assume control of the siege machine. Range units ready your bows, melee troops to the attack. Satisfying clanking sounds. Charles's reputation has gone up. I'm sure we're gonna bitch at us for leaving him alone because he's an ungrateful little prick. Let's clear the rest of them out or you know what? Joan can do that herself. Yes? Going there now! Ready! Yes. That almost broke the game. Okay. 30, no experience. We need to save our lands, not stand idly by. I think 30 is the max level. Yeah, ball them stuck. Yes? Going there now! Yes? Sheldamets will scout ahead because he is, I guess, the best the an ideal scout. There's a lot of people in uh, that castle. Is that range? Have we reached it yet? Flam, everything will be good. Shut sure. 
Lady. I shall We're still dealing with Burgundian Burgundian light infantry even the start of the game. Exactly. Right now. It's lost. Okay, that's just fucking great. I'm gonna have to walk right out of here myself. <sighs> At least we get to ride back. I don't think Joan, the AI is smart enough to mount a horse. Everyone you didn't end up dealing with. Yep, there they are. Now Joan has reached level 30. Proximity of Rems. I deem it safe to escort our king to the castle gates now. Before we can do that, though, that must uh, use a sword. And get rid of all these people. I shall do that. I 
end this with my favorite still stuck character. Yes. Going now. Yes. Heading there. Ready. Ready. Heading there. Heading there. Please let me go, Your Highness. Don't bother getting up. Don't bother getting up. Mm. Okay, if we move the whole bloody At your lot orders. of them here immediately, will they actually move? Yes. Ready. Gonna make you some headway. Yay, they're free. Ambush for sure. Shame he's stupid. As far as I know, we still have um, William de la Pole and John False. Uh, William de la Pole, Jean de, Lux Jean de Luxembourg. And uh, John and uh, Regent Bedford to deal with. Why is the guy on the horse somehow the slowest? You'd think the horse would make him faster. Where's John the Mets? I want to see his sword. Nice. Heroic. We're all heroes. I uh, will be s very soon. awaiting your arrival for quite some time. Indeed, congratulations for having made it thus far. A welcoming committee would like to show you how we Burgundians like to receive our guests. And this is how we say goodbye in Germany. Men, make sure that our guests are well attended too. Two men with maces. That's all that stands between me and Victor. No, I am dying, men. 
accomplish our mission where I have failed. Finally, the Dillapol family is dead. Witness my light. This is you. You stand no chance. Then deal with him. I'm gonna deal with his cheaters. Don't go away. You cannot stop me. Critical This is how it all ends. Yes? Yeah. Ready! At your command. At once. Yes? Yes, General. Yes. Going now. Yes? Heading to destination. Yes? Ready. Don't go away. Francis brought a swift end to the life of Jean Luxembourg, and we get some sword we don't need. Looks like the Audi Flam, actually. Let's see, what is it? Seeker of Light! Inscribed with writings of a long lost language, this blade wields the shining power of chastity and purity. Only Joan of Arc may use. Yes. 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 Heading there. Don't run into the Ready. tree, Heading there. dumbass. Heading there. Heading there. Yes? Going there now! Yes? Heading to destination. Yes? Going already! Yes? Moving to destination. Yes. Going now. Yes? Ready. Two sides. Yes. Going already. Yes. Moving to destination. Yes. Heading to destination. Yes. We have arrived. It is Rems I see ahead. Yes. Good tidings for us all. We have arrived safely at last. You win. It's only right you finish the game as Joan of Arc. Yes? Heading to Inside. destination. Yes? Yes. Going now. Going now. Yes? Ready! Ready. Yes. Yes. Ready. Yes, General. Yes, General. Yes. Heading there. Heading there. Not stand idly by. That should win us the game, I think. Finally, Rims. I thank all of you for delivering me safely to my coronation. You're welcome. In gratitude, please accept this gift, and you shall all be commended for your bravery. Empire Ring, 
Symbolizing the French Empire, this ring allows the bearer to recruit additional units beyond the normal leadership ability. It's basically completely useless to us. Because the game's over. So when we get let inside the castle, you have safely scored Charles VII to reign, successfully delivering the future King of France to his coronation ceremony. Objectives, everything. Debrief. B. 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 C. Oh, I lost did not do well. That's bad. Well, that's Joan of Arc. Lord Talbot's still out there. And, um. Shit, so is Regent Bedford, so. With the outcome of the Hundred Years' War in France's favor, the townsfolk of Rem rejoiced. There was much pomp and ceremony as the trumpeters heralded the arrival of the valiant warriors, saviors of France, escorting the Dauphin Charles VII, who was soon to be king of this great nation. Joan was personally requested by Charles VII to assist in his crowning ceremony. With the king already in the palace donning his royal attire and waiting his coronation, Alençon, the bastard of Orléans, together with La Hire and Metz, rode into the castle. They look quite, realizing quite that they are indeed revered by the citizens as they acknowledge the chairs with their heads held high, bursting with pride at their accomplishments. Together, they have touched the lives of many. As nobles dutifully presented the country's crown jewels to Charles VII, cheers echoed throughout the royal palace. Finally, the king took his rightful seat on the revered throne. Trumpets blazed their fanfares, proudly proclaiming the new king's official inheritance. Thus, Charles VII was rightfully proclaimed as the heir of the kingdom of France. Having secured their names in the annals of history, the headers of France approached the royal carpet under the escort of nobles, each awaiting their turn to greet the new king. Each warrior, based on their individual virtue and merit, was awarded riches in gold and lands beyond the dreams of common people. Those in the courtroom then turned to the Maid of Orléans, but Joan of Arc had no longing for luxurious ceremonies nor gallant processions. Imperial recognition for her contribution to the liberation of France were unimportant. It sufficed her to be at peace once again with her voices, having fulfilled their word on mortal soil. Joan of Arc was nowhere to be found, having shed her honor amid the commotion where nobody noticed. After fulfilling her mission to liberate Orléans and crown the king, the voices ceased chanting in Joan's head. She realized that her duties with the country of France, and more importantly, her mission as ordained by her voices, were over. She had left as abruptly as she came. All Joan could now hear were the birds singing in the treetops, the wind blowing as it caressed her hair while she walked off into the distance. She longed to return to her village of Domremy. The sounds of war slowly faded. In their stead were the joyous sounds of children playing and the warm greetings of friends and family people that loved her and beckoned for her safe return. And then she was burned as a witch. <laughs> of course, the game had to have a happy ending, but Joan of Arc was burned as a witch. Anyway, um... Next game's gonna be kinda similar to this one in two respects. One... It's not based on any one thing in particular, more based on a concept. And two is half RTS. Next up, we're doing Brutal Legend. It's finally time. See you then. I'll let the credits play out. Thanks for watching, guys. It was a fun game. I liked it. Hi, 
Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!